Hi everybody, we're going to talk about constitutional isomers. A constitutional isomer differs in the way that atoms are connected to each other. So two little specific notes on this. These different molecules have the same number of elements, the identical same number of elements. So we'd say they have the same molecular formula. However, they're different in structure. They're simply different in the way those atoms are arranged and how they're bonded together. So I have five examples that I want to do with you. Here's our first one. Um, so notice I've got my two carbons. We have six hydrogens, one oxygen. That would be the same molecular formula, but the oxygen is bonded differently. Here is an alcohol functional group. You have the oxygen at the very end on the last carbon with the hydrogen. Now over here, it's an ether functional group. You have the oxygen in between the carbons. And so here you would have a carbon oxygen bond, oxygen hydrogen bond. But in this one, you have two carbon oxygen bonds. That makes that a constitutional isomer. Same number of elements, but a different arrangement of bonds. The elements are bonded together differently. So that, let's write it down, is an isomer. That's a constitutional. I'll put constitutional. Little side note, you might be asking, um, well, what about stereoisomers? I have a video for stereoisomers. Stereoisomers are going to involve the 3D arrangement. Here's a clue. They have multiple bonds. They have multiple bonds. So you can compare that video with this constitutional isomers. Uh, we're just looking at the overall bonding, bonding of the elements, different bonding. That's a constitutional isomer. Let's look at this one. I've got my three carbons attached to hydrogens with a nitrogen at the end. So this is, remember, going to be called an amine. This is also an amine. It's hydrogen bonded inside of our organic molecule. Um, I have my three carbons and there's the nitrogen. Now let's count hydrogens just to make sure we have the same number of hydrogens. I've got two, four, six plus three is nine. Three, 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 I've got nine. Okay, so we do have the same number of elements. It's definitely the same molecular formula, but is the bonding different? Yes. Here the nitrogen is bonded to three carbons whereas over here is bonded to one carbon and two hydrogens. So that's also an isomer because the bonds are arranged differently. The elements have different bonds. Nice. Let's look at number three. So here I've got my three carbons and let's count hydrogens just to make sure. We've got three plus two plus three, eight hydrogens. Over here, I have three carbons. Notice there's a double bond. Let's count our hydrogens. We've got three plus one plus three, six. That does not have the same molecular formula. So this is not an isomer, not an isomer. And it's because it doesn't have the same molecular formula. All right, let's look here. This one, we've got to really pay special attention to the hydrogens. Let's go ahead and count our number of carbons. I have my skeleton structures. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six carbons. Let's look over here. One, two, three, four, five, six carbons. Great. Now let's count hydrogens. So remember, each of these carbons is going to have two hydrogens on it. When we draw our skeletal structures, it's understood there's enough hydrogens to make four bonds on every carbon. So let's count. We've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 hydrogens. And over here, we'd have two, four, six, eight. Now look at that carbon. The carbon has one, two, three bonds. So that would have one hydrogen. Let me count again. Two, four, six, eight, nine plus three is 12. 12 hydrogens, 12 hydrogens, six carbon, six carbon. Well, it definitely has the same molecular formula. And then we look at the bonding and we go, oh, the, these atoms are bonded differently. Here, every carbon has two hydrogens. On this one, you have one carbon with one hydrogen, one carbon with three hydrogens. So the bonding's different, but you have the same number of elements. That's a constitutional isomer. Constitutional isomer. Let's look what we have down here. Let's begin by counting our atoms. I'll do carbon first. One, two, three, four, five. And over here, I've got one, two, three, four. Oh, I'll stop there. We don't have the same number of elements, so it's not going to be an isomer. So not an isomer. 
Okay, great. So one last really quick review, constitutional isomers. They're going to be compounds that have the same number of elements, but the elements are bonded in different ways. There you have it. Have a good day, so proud of you, thanks.